Hello everyone. Welcome to my second session of this Oracle Fusion training series. Today we will be showing how to set up one new user ID or user account in Oracle Fusion Cloud and how to set the preferences for that particular user. So let's get started. So I'll be using one login ID which has the admin or security privilege to set up the user account. Okay, here is the welcome springboard which you have seen earlier session. So I'll go to the navigator menu list and here you'll be seeing one link security console. So in this particular work area we'll be able to set up the user account. Okay. So in this work area there are multiple tabs. So first is for the role which we'll be discussing in the later session. Next one is for user accounts. So this is the tab where we will be setting up a new user. Next one is the analytics. So this is for a reporting or dashboard purpose for all the roles we have. Next is the certificate repository. And the last one is for admin activities. So let's click on the user accounts tab. So in the in this work area, you can basically search all the existing user accounts, or you can create a new account. So I'll just go ahead and click this button. Okay. So this is the uh, screen or the form where you'll have to enter some basic details to set up the new user account. So as you can see, the last name is the mandatory username and password. So this three information, last name, username, password is the basic or minimum requirement to set up a user account. But in real world, you need more details to set up the user account because in most of the cases, the user will be employee. So you'll have to associate the user with the employee. So in that case, in the first field, you'll have to select worker. And if you select worker, you need to select the list of workers and you need to link that worker with the employer in the user account. But for our demonstration purpose, we'll just keep this because you will be able to see uh, the user and worker association in later sessions in more detail. But for this session, let's stick to the user account. So I'll just enter the first name, even though this is not mandatory. I'll select the, uh, the last name. Email, I don't need to enter. So as you can see, the username is automatically generated first name dot last name again this is configured in the administration section so because of which uh, fusion cloud is automatically generating username as first name dot last name okay i'll just simply uh, accept this user suggested username i'll select password just welcome one two three four five And again, this password complexity again is a configurable. So in the uh, admin section, you will have you can choose a different security or uh, the password selection rules. Okay, so that's all. So I'll just save this one. Okay, 
user account got created let's search yeah i'll search the new user account to see whether the account got created or not yeah so it's returning the result this is the account i just created so let's now log out from user one and try to log out as a new user to see what the links by default will be available to this new user okay so this is the new user which we created a few minutes back so as you can see uh, the first section the uh, social uh, platform employee news and all those details are available by default and also we have couple of uh, links or applications also included by default for the new user account so one of the important thing for the new user is to set the preferences uh, correctly so we'll see we, we can see that set preferences icon is all here but the same preferences we can access from uh, two different places as well so the first one is from the navigator under tools you will see set preferences and the other one from the user menu so this is the set preference so from three different places you can set the user preferences so let me click from here okay this is the preferences work area so by default i should be setting the regional uh, I'll, I'll ensure that the preferences are properly selected according to my uh, work location so i'll change to india date format usually i prefer this format uh, so i'll change that format time zone i should be selecting correctly so that whenever i will create the transaction i can see the the date and time according to my time zone okay so that's all i'll save this language i don't need to select anything it's fine so password uh, this will allow you to change the password but i don't need to change password now okay rest of the links are not so useful and also you will be able to come across these links in later sessions so in today's session we have seen how to navigate to the user account setup screen how we can create on basic user account what mandatory details we need to fill in and after setting it up uh, after logging into the user account what are the basic links or applications available to the new user so i think that's all for today's session hope all of you liked the video please don't forget to add comments and share the videos with your colleagues and friends in the next session i'll be discussing the role which is one of the interesting and exciting topic to learn and see let's meet again in my next session which is about role and role setup thank you for now